guys, today I am back with another fashion video. I thought that since I was doing so many hauls and I'm buying so many new clothes, it's about time that I clear out what's already in my wardrobe. I actually have the smallest bedroom in my house because I'm still living with my parents at the moment. So it's important that I actually make the most of the space that I do have and it's time that I clear out some of the pieces I have not worn in ages. So I thought it would be fun if you come along and see how I organise my wardrobe and some of the bits I'm going to either be giving away or sending off to charity. So let's just jump right in and I'll show you my wardrobe. <laughs> Literally as I'm filming I've just got a text from Miss Guided saying that my order's arrived. <laughs> What is wrong with me? I ordered even more clothes yesterday and they've just arrived. So as I'm throwing things away, there's literally more clothes waiting downstairs for me. Someone take my money away from me, please. So here's my wardrobe. My room actually ended here and the door was across here and this was a boiler. But as I got older, we got rid of the boiler and kind of extended it out a little bit so I had more space. And I've just got some grey brick wallpaper all the way around and I've used like a just a see-through cloth to kind of cover up the clothes and make it look a bit more neat and tidy when I'm not using it. So here is my clothes. It actually extends down a little bit further to about here and then it ends just here and up top you can't see but I've got boxes of my summer clothes which obviously I'm not wearing at the moment so I've moved them out of the way and I've still run out of space and then down below just on the floor I have shoes and a chest of drawers for socks, underwear and bras. So it is so jam packed in here it actually takes a lot of strength to move things like out of the way so my, clo my coats are here and if I want a coat, I have to shove everything out of the way and it's pretty hard. So the way that I've organised it is by colour and by piece. So I've got all my tops on this side and then this quite small section is trousers and then coats. And then further back, I've got dresses. And then further back, I've got sentimental pieces like my Levers hoodie from when I was at school or uh, prom dresses and things like that. So I'm just going to shove everything to the side so that you can kind of see and I can get started about what I'm going to throw away. Alright, this plain black top. Mm, do I wear it? No, I don't wear it. I only wear it if I'm doing some kind of workout or activity. Right, this top, it's got nice crisscross down the side. And it's quite different, so I think I'm going to keep that. And I do wear it. Got a nice velvet top here as well. The only problem with velvet is it gets so much fluff stuck to it. You have to literally sit there with sellotape and stick in everything before you want to wear it and it takes forever, which is why it's inside out at the moment. Right, a black cardigan. I never wear cardigans, so that can go. I'm not a cardigan person. I feel like I used to when I had to wear a school uniform, but not anymore, so I could tell I prefer hoodies. A black blazer. I do quite like this. I wish I had a new one though. I've had it for so many years and you know when the material just looks a bit worn. I'm going to keep that for now but if I find a new blazer online this can go. A misguided top which is see-through knitted on the sleeves and then not see-through on the middle. I've hardly worn this but I could. I just feel like I haven't had the chance to wear it because it's winter so it's quite new. I'm going to keep it. I've got a black chiffon shirt and it's actually got a button missing and I can't remember the last time I wore it so if I haven't worn it recently it's going. It's gone. Oh this is nice, this is a drop armhole bodysuit. Again from Misguided like most of my wardrobe is. This is really nice in the summer. A lace bodysuit, so it's black with lace at the top, that's really pretty. And then like I said, to save space I keep multiple things on one hanger. So this is all my black strappy top, but I hardly ever wear them so I definitely do not need this many. That can go. Now I've just got three. I think that's acceptable. If you want to save a bit of space, put multiple things on one hanger instead of having three different hangers for just a strappy top. And then I have my crop tops. This one can go. Can you see how it's not black anymore? It's gone grey because I've had it for so long. It's quite low cut. I'm not about that life. I actually have a Wally shirt from Misguided. Just a plain black shirt but it's a bodysuit so it's so much nicer to wear with jeans because it doesn't go all bunchy. I just haven't worn it yet because it's winter. Black turtleneck can stay. 
just a casual baggy black top can stay. I think you'll notice that with my wardrobe, my style is plain outfits. I kind of go all out with my hair and makeup most of the time, but my outfits are always just plain top, plain jeans, but in different styles. So we've moved on to the navy section, as you can see. Right, my misguided Carly Bible dress can stay. My blue bodysuit with a strappy back can stay. Plain navy top, navy crop top. I feel like with my style, I've actually outgrown most of my clothes because I had this when I was 15 and it was my friends before that. So it's very old and it's not my style anymore. So that's going. Uh, can you see how dirty it is? There's like dirt around here. No, it's going. It's old, had this when I was maybe 13 and I'm now 22, so I think it's acceptable for that to leave. <laughs> Get out of my life. Right, so we're in the white section and this top you would have seen in my previous haul. I didn't know whether to put it in black or white, so I've kind of put it in the white and it looks a bit out of place, but oh well. And obviously this is staying, so I've only just brought it. In white strappy tops, look how old this front one is. That can go, uh, it's not even white anymore. That's when you know your clothes need to go when they're not the colour they're supposed to be. Right, white bodysuit can stay, white turtleneck can stay. I feel like I don't need both of these jumpers, they are so similar. I'm going to wear this one more so this one can go. White smart shirt, that can stay. Another misguided off the shoulder knitted jumper, that's nice. Oh, I really like this, but it's stained. I've got a nice drop arm white bodysuit, which I really like, but it's stained. Gonna have to go, even though I love it. No, oh, this upsets me. This I've literally had since I was 13 again, so that can go. See what I mean? Like, it's just plain, but they've got different styles. So for example, this one's got crisscross on it. The other one was drop arm. So they're all quite plain but different, which is my way of justifying having so many clothes. So we're on to the beige section, which consists of one thing, which is the Carly Bible jumper. So obviously I love that and that's staying. See, look, I've got more space I can fit my arms in. And now we're on to burgundy purpley colours. That could stay, it's just a warm, it kind of looks like a Benz jumper. Look at those arms. That can stay, I do kind of wear that. Carly Bible bodysuit. This I don't wear anymore. Got a red bodysuit. My wardrobe is basically misguided bodysuits. Right, I've got a checkered top, but I do not need two. Cannot remember the last time I wore this one. They're so similar. This I don't wear, I just tie it around my waist in the summer as like fashion accessory. Accessory. Can't say that word. Fashion accessory. Right, this top was a present that I haven't worn yet. This is so old and not my style anymore. I don't really wear jumpers like this. Right, and now we're on to purpley blues. So another Kylie Bible misguided. Another misguided. This is really nice. Right, and now we're on to grey. The main colours that I wear are black, white, or grey. So I'm so excited. No, it's old. I'm trying to justify that it's comfy, so I should keep it, but... Mm. Right, so I have grey crop tops. One, two, three. Three is acceptable, isn't it? That's not too many. And like I said, I've kept them on the same hanger, so they're not taking up space. That's all right. This is another fashion over thing where it ties at the front, so that's quite nice. And it's good for layering in the winter because it's got long sleeves. I don't have that many things with long sleeves. My grey hoodie from Universal Studios when I went to LA. That's nice and comfy. Another grey hoodie, but that's more like Sainsbury's loungewear, so. Then I've got my top from the Hard Rock Cafe. This is nice off the shoulder, kind of slouchy jumper. Right, this can go. I quite like the pattern. I like the lotus flower, it's really pretty. I actually used to want a lotus flower as a tattoo, but I never got round to getting it. Now that I've turned it around, I don't want to throw it away. Ugh, right, I need to be strict, it can go. Right, this nice top is quite baggy, and then the back is open. Quite nice and comfy when I'm going to dinner because I can eat a lot and you can't tell, so. Right, on to the khaki section now. Knitted khaki jumper can stay khaki crop top that can stay so this is now my tops and i've got space so now we are on to the trouser section which i don't actually have too many trousers i don't think i may find out differently 
So these are the clots that you saw in my last video so they can stay. And what I've done with my jeans is I've separated them into my dark jeans and my light jeans and I've hung them on one hanger. So all my dark jeans are on one hanger. I've got three different jeans. I've got black high-waisted, black normal, really dark blue. Most of my jeans are either Topshop or River Island. I feel like they fit the nicest. So this isn't taking up too much space and I live in jeans if I'm leaving the house. They can all stay. Right, and now onto my light jeans. I love light coloured jeans. Like I said, I love light coloured outfits. I'm wearing a pair of light jeans today. Got really light, medium light, getting darker light, but not dark enough to be on the other hanger. Am I crazy? These are boyfriend jeans and the other two are skinny jeans. Oh, and I've got white jeans hidden under there as well. They can all stay, because they're all different. They all have a purpose, so that's all my jeans. And this hanger is gonna give way any day now. And then I've got, what do you call them? What are they called? They're like flowy, but then tight at the ankle. Got a black pair, khaki pair, and a patterned pair. These I only really wear on holiday, and I think they're too small. So they can go. They were getting quite small two years ago, so they can go. And then I have leggings. Right, so these are my Carly Biobar leggings. Then I have some grey leggings. And then I have my pineapple leggings that I've recently brought. And then I have two pairs of Sainsbury's leggings. I feel like they can all stay, because if I'm in the house, I'm probably in leggings, so... I do get use out of all of these. This hanger is my weird trouser hanger. For example, I've got black leather dungarees, bright blue officey trousers. Under here, I've got trousers that are completely cut out all down the side and they've got like lace crisscross up them. And then I've got really baggy blue dungarees. I do wear all of them, so they're all staying. I just thought I'd describe my hanger thoughts. Right, and then I've just got my Carly Bible white joggers. They could probably go on my weird trouser hanger. Then I have my black leather mini skirt, which is inside out at the moment, but it is black leather mini skirt, which I do wear so that I can stay. Right, and that's the trouser section done. I have more skirts and shorts and stuff, but it's all in the summer box up there, which I can go through when the seasons get a bit warmer. I'm actually out of breath quite exhausting and now I'm on to coats which I doubt I'm actually going to throw many away because different coats are for different outfits got this pink bomber jacket which is from Sainsbury's it's actually quite warm and it's light colored so I'm keeping it <laughs> got this Primark Sherling jacket that could stay got the fur coat that you saw in my last video got my proper winter coat which is from next it's very warm and I brought it for when I went to New York last winter it's what I wear most days so that's definitely staying got my Carly Bible tweed baggy jacket it's not a coat it's a jacket then I've got my embroidered baggy denim jacket which I actually cut myself at the bottom got a black coat just quite plain it's not that warm but if I'm wearing a darker outfit that's nice to go with that got a cropped navy leather jacket which I kind of wear when it's springtime then I've just got a khaki bomber jacket and a really cropped denim jacket all of which like I said I wear I feel like I'm battling with my clothes now to get right to the end Right, and here I have all of my going out dresses. So this I wore to my graduation. I have a really bad habit with like proper party dresses. I'll wear it once and then for another event, I'll want a new dress so I don't end up wearing it again. This is a floor length black dress with a slit up the leg and cut out on the ribs. So that's really nice. It's actually nice for holidays. It's quite casual material. I have a salmon bodycon dress. I have a black peplum sweetheart neckline dress my mum actually made this which is really cute she made it from scratch and you will have seen it in my halloween tutorial the one where i am dressed as a clown this is a floor length red dress with cutouts all at the side and a slit up the leg my favorite for wearing to like wedding receptions it's really nice all right then i have a black high neck what's it called where it's high on one side then it goes down but that's a bodysuit silky black dress that ben actually brought me it and makeup and kind of gave it to me as a present and said get dressed because I'm taking you out for dinner. So that's really nice and has sentimental value so that's definitely not going. Red high neck cut out back suit, suit? Body suit 
dress no bodycon that's the word i'm looking for bodycon dress this never worn misguided i think yep like everything else in my wardrobe misguided that can go don't even know why it's in there it's a top and i don't wear it because i didn't even know it was in there this is nice so it's lace high neck and then sweetheart neckline underneath and it's blue sequins and quite short all of my dresses are similar kind of styles and then this i wore to a wedding halter neck can't, you can't really see what i'm on about halter neck light blue and it's got a matching high-waisted long skirt but unfortunately the skirt got some kind of stain on it and I don't know what it's from and it wouldn't come out. So I've had to throw the skirt away, but I thought the top's too nice to just get rid of. I could maybe wear this with some white trousers. I'm gonna now wrestle to get all of them dresses back in my wardrobe, but you don't need to see that. And then like I said, at the end is just my like levers tops that have all been signed by my friends at the time. So that is the end. I think I've made some good progress. Let me just show you. That's quite a big pile of clothes to throw away so I'm actually quite pleased and I can somewhat move my clothes in my wardrobe without breaking my arms. <laughs> I've got space, yes. Right, I'll send you to the outro while I try and get these dresses back in my wardrobe. So that was the end of the video guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. I think I've made some good space in my wardrobe now. I'm not sure how long that's actually gonna last though because like I said, there's more clothes waiting for me downstairs. But yeah, let me know if you enjoyed the video, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see next, and I will see you next week. I'm filming, so don't come in, unless you want to be on YouTube. Mm. <laughs> Almost the end of winter, but it's not quite spring, so... I don't know where I'm going with that sentence. off.